Hi, this is Jonathan. Do you remember this guitar? This is my friend Jeffrey's uh, Japan Fender Telecaster, you know. So I showed it to you in the last video with the stop pickups. It was really great. Uh, they show you too that there were some parts that uh, needed changing. So, well, he decided, in a way, we decided to <laughs> to have a, a, a pickup transplant. Uh, we changed the pickups. So we took out the stock and uh, again we visited Wayne and uh, Wayne did the, uh, the installation for us. So we actually did a, a swap of the uh, Seymour Duncan Vintage Stack. So stick around. So the vintage stacks are basically your typical Telecaster pickups uh, for the bridge as well as for the neck, but without the 60 cycle hum. Uh, the Telecaster is so notorious for the howl, the feedback that it uh, can muster because of the pickups. It somehow, I think it's because of the, the, the construction of the body as well as I don't know, there are other factors. Around. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an expert in this, but it's probably something to do with the, the shooting, you know, the the waxing of the pickups, or or, or rather the lack of it. And Simo uh, Duncan came up with uh, these vintage stacks, which basically they are actually basically a humbucker in a way, but they cancel out the hum, but still retain the uh, traditional tally tones, uh, without the active uh, element in it, you know, without the pickups going active, you know, so there's no need for batteries or stuff like that. So I think it's a pretty neat idea and it sounded really great, you know, so I'm going to uh, show you some of the sample of how it sounds like.
this vintage stack is something that uh, that you might want to consider because uh, you know the 60 cycle hum is is uh, you know it's very annoying, <laughs> especially to me. Uh, I could use this guitar safely for recording. In fact, I actually used it on a session, on one of my sessions, just a couple of days back, and it went really well. You know, it was clean and everything, and even distortion. I mean, it's high gain. You know, it's 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 really nice. It, it, it doesn't break up. You know, it, it doesn't have that that muddiness that uh, some uh, guitars have. You know, but the Seymour Duncan's are great. You know, the the Seymour Duncan's pickups that I've used so far for the Black Paisley Telecasters. You know. Uh, they're really good, you know, they're really good. Uh, they kind of clean up in the low ends, you know. But uh, this guitar, because of it's a vintage stack, you know, so it, it's really it's really clean. It comes out really nice. Um, the output is pretty low uh, as compared to the other pickups, you know. I had a hot tally for the back place, Lee, so they have a high output than this. Uh, it depends on what you want, because if you want to go to the, you want to go for the vintage sound, then go for this. But if you want a little bit of a modern, a modern touch, but with the characteristic of the Telecaster, then go for the hot tally, right? And um, this will set you probably back like in a, a 230 sing, which is about what 200 or 190 dollars US, and it's relatively cheap, you know, for a, a, a set of good pickups. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, uh, give me a thumbs up, and remember to ring that bell. <laughs> Ring my bell. Right, ring that bell so that you'll be notified of any uh, videos that I come up with. Thank you guys for all your comments in the discussion are uh, in some of the videos below. Um, I, I, I just feel that you know there is this uh, uh, comradeship among guitarists. So I thank you for your friendship and thank you for your kind words. So till there, take care of yourself. Ciao.